Um, but this Bulgari watch, I'm after it. Uh, I'm on your tracks, Bulgari. <laughs> and welcome back to Coop. Coop is a place where we talk about lifestyle, luxury, travel, and everyday entertaining. So as promised, <laughs> I'm going to try to be on camera speaking to you more and more and more this year. So I am challenging myself, I am pushing myself, and so here I am, you're seeing my face today. <laughs> and if you support me on my journey, I ask that you please like, comment, and subscribe. I talk about a lot of things on this channel, and so I am trying to grow my channel, and so I hope that I can share all of the things that I've learned throughout the course of my life with you. And so today, I'm really excited about today's topic. I'm sure you saw it in the description that today I'm going to be talking about the top 10 luxury items that every woman must have. For me, what I think of when I think of luxury is more than just things. Today we're gonna to talk about things. But it's more than things. It really is about the lifestyle. Um, as we talk on this channel a lot about the soft life, it really is about the everyday things that you do to treat yourself well. And for me, I enjoy luxury goods. And so we're gonna talk about that today. So the top 10 things that I am looking at in terms of luxury, and the top 10 things that I think a lot of women should have, and it can be at whatever price point fits your budget. And so let's take a look. Luxury does not always mean expensive. It means well-made. It means that when you see it, it makes you happy. And so um, I wanna talk about some of those things today. So let's talk about it. And so the number one thing, you know, my favorite thing, a designer handbag. And so the one that I'm looking at right now on my wish list, and I'm gonna pop pictures up here as we talk about them, is the Loewe T Clutch. I recently saw this bag and while the puzzle bag has been on my wish list and it definitely is one that I will get um, down the road, but I saw this clutch and I was just like, oh my goodness, for the things that I have in my wardrobe right now, uh, it really is going to be a good match. It's really going to pop um, as I take it into the spring and into the summer, you know, to be able to throw just a few things in a bag, grab a clutch. I can see me wearing it. Um, beautifully, even with shorts, jeans, a dress. Um, it's just so lovely. Um, if you look at it, it has like the embossed. I was looking to see if it was embossed or debossed. I think it's kind of, I think it's embossed um, pattern uh, that is on this bag. And then um, the anagram hat pattern, as a matter of fact, and it has gold hardware. I think that it's just so beautiful. And a lot of people, um, or I would say on YouTube, I haven't seen a lot of people really talk about this bag. Um, so I do think that it will be one of those bags that when you're carrying it, it's one of those, if you know, you know, um, kind of pieces. Um, very, very beautiful. I'm really excited about uh, pursuing that bag. The number two thing every woman must have is a signature perfume. <laughs> We've talked about fragrance on this channel and we know that we are all fragrance lovers uh, on this channel and those that watch this channel. And the one that I'm looking at right now, I got a sample of it and I was like, oh yeah, I need this. And that is the BDK Rouge Smoking. Yes, I know we are going into spring. This really isn't a springtime scent. I have enough springtime scents that will take me through the spring and summer. But uh, this one I know I can wear right now. Since it's still winter, a few more days left of winter. <laughs> and um, it's still cold here where I live. Uh, and I know that I will get a lot of use out of it in the fall. 
especially around the holiday month. So I'm really excited about BDK Rude Smoking. A pair of designer shoes. So <laughs> here's my thing with the shoes. So I used to wear heels and, and high heels and I still wear lower heels, but I broke my fibula about, let me see what year was that? 2014, I broke my fibula. And since then my ankle balance has not been quite the same. You know, I did quite a few uh, months of physical therapy just to get myself walking straight again. Um, but I will say that in the left leg, I don't have the same strength. And the fibula is that outside bone. Um, you know how your leg has two bones? Um, and that's the one that I fractured. And so I really don't have that stability like I used to. So I still wear heels, but I just don't wear them as high saying all of this long story to say that I really like uh, the Tamra Melon Desire 65. And I it comes in a lot of different colors, but I really like it in this kind of tan, camely kind of color. I think that will really fit in with my wardrobe and go with a lot of things that I have um, all year round until it gets really cold and you don't want your foot out but it is an ankle strap heel, and I think that that will look really cool. And it is also, my cat wants to visit since I'm here on the sofa. This is Noelle, everyone. Hello, Noelle. So we'll let her visit with us as we continue to talk. Um, and so this has a little suede on it, um, and so it's that soft touch suede, but it doesn't really read suede, so I think that I can get away with it kind of all year long. And so I really, really like those. The number four thing that every woman needs is a statement piece of jewelry. And so one of the things, I have a lot of earrings, I have a lot of beautiful bracelets, but I really want to get into wearing more rings. Um, I think that it would really go very well with my style to wear really simple gold jewelry, right? And so I'm really looking at the Monica Venator Heirloom Gold Chain Ring. I'll put a picture up of that. And I think that it is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I love this ring. And I wanna start like a, a, a ring collection, ring stack, whatever you wanna call it. And so I think that this ring will be a nice starting piece for me as I build up my ring collection. All right, moving on to number five. The number five that everything that every woman must have is a luxurious cashmere sweater. Um, and people think, oh, cashmere, again, we're going into spring. Can I wear it in the spring? Sure you can. You know, when you have those cool nights and you have on maybe your shorts and a t-shirt and you just need to throw something over your arms or throw something over and, and tie it in a little loop, um, tie the arms in a little loop, you can still wear your sweaters throughout the year. And so uh, the cashmere sweater that I am looking at, and I'm thinking about buying it now as we are kind of off season of winter things, because this is a classic that can be worn year after year after year, um, is this Kate Nimbus sweater. Oh my goodness, this sweater is absolutely gorgeous. It's nice, full, big turtleneck. I love turtlenecks. <laughs> and I love the fact that this is one of those giant, big floppy turtlenecks. And it has kind of these tulip cut sleeves in it. Oh, it's just an absolutely gorgeous sweater. It can be worn with, you know, a slip skirt. It can be worn with jeans. It can be worn with shorts, quite honestly. It can be worn with skirts and over top of dresses, however you wanna style it. And so I'm really interested in this piece. It's definitely one of those pieces. It would look really, really good in the wintertime or in the fall when it's really cold with a, under a big wool coat. Oh my goodness, just killing them, killing them. So I love this sweater. And so that's one that I'm looking at. And then number six, number six is a classic trench coat. Everybody needs a trench coat. I don't care who you are, you need a trench coat. 
because it's gonna rain at some point. You need a trench coat. And even if it doesn't rain, when it gets chilly, but it's, it's still kind of warm and you just need a little coat, a trench coat is the perfect thing. Even just for style, you need a trench coat. And so I have a pretty classic trench coat, uh, typical classic cut London Fog trench coat that a lot of people have. But I'm interested in getting something that's more of a fashion trench coat. Uh, and I'm looking at the Alexander McQueen Layer Flared Trench. Um, I think this is absolutely gorgeous. And it has like two tones. So it has the army green and then it has the traditional kind of trench coat color. And I love this trench coat because of the hemline. It's kind of got that handkerchief hemline, which is always very flattering. It's got a belt, so of course you can cinch in your waist and let the coat hang more like an A-line, which is all flattering for every figure, but it's especially flattering on my figure, someone who has wide hips and, you know, a little pooch there. The A-line really works for me. I also really like this extra extended um, long uh, collar that is also very flattering to the neckline. You could wear a lot of beautiful jewelry around the neck or a turtleneck or whatever you wanna do under this trench coat. I really, really love this coat. It almost could be worn as a dress. It definitely probably could be worn as a dress. Um, and I think that it is just absolutely beautiful. And I think that it's something that you'll wear year after year after year. Not something that's gonna easily go out of style. And then the seventh thing that every woman needs, a stylist pair of sunglasses. I wear sunglasses all year round. I, whether it's overcast, whether it's bright, I don't care. I wear them all year round. And I'm late on these. Everybody has these. Am I gonna get them and now they're gonna go out of style? I don't care because I'm gonna wear them anyway. <laughs> going to wear them anyway and that is the Loewe inflated cat eye sunglasses um, I think I'm gonna go with the black I don't have uh, you know a lot of people have the red the yellow the black uh, I'm not one of the fashion girls even though I love luxury and fashion um, so I don't see myself really probably wearing any of the other bright colors other than the black so I love these I think that they're different I think they're unique um, it, it kind of plays on the trend that we've been seeing for the last few years, that kind of puffer trend. Um, they kind of remind me of superhero. And, you know, I'm a big fan of sci-fi, fantasy, and superhero stuff. So I love those. <laughs> the number eight thing that every woman has to need, you need a leather jacket. We all know this. Fashion people have been telling us this for eons, decades, We've seen the leather jacket for more than 50 years. <laughs> Be a part of fashion, more than 50 years. And so the traditional leather jacket, a lot of us already have. Um, and it, you know, you can dress it up, dress it down. It's just something that is a wardrobe staple. But this particular leather jacket that I'm talking about today, it is the Fabiana Philippi perforated leather jacket. Kind of has a smoking jacket kind of style to it. At first glance, you might not even realize that it's leather. And when I'm looking at it in this gray color, that is really speaking my name, but it's got that like smoking jacket, kind of bathrobe, kind of tie to it. I know we're going into spring and summer, but I need this jacket, y'all. <laughs> I think this is absolutely gorgeous. I could see it really looking really good with a pleated skirt. I could see it looking really good with some straight leg jeans. It can look good with a lot of stuff. I could see it looking good over a dress. I could see it looking, you know, just, just, good all sorts of ways you could unbelt it belt it oh I, I i'm here for this leather jacket it's gorgeous it's gorgeous <laughs> really really love it really love it another thing that uh every woman needs number nine we're coming into the home stretch 
is a stylish watch. So most of the time I wear, you know, my Apple watch, but I want to get into more stylish watches. I might not start here because the price point, uh, if we start here with the Bulgari, uh, it, it could be a little bit prohibitive at this time to my budget, <laughs> at this time. Um, but uh, doesn't mean it's not coming up in my future. But the Bulgari Serpenti Spiga watch, I just have to start rocking because This watch with the green base. And y'all know I love green. Look at the sofa. I love green. But <sighs> my, my, my. I'm going to be looking for some dupes for this watch for right now to tide me over until I bring this watch into my life because it is just absolutely gorgeous. I, I am just here for this 18 karat gold. This is a luxury watch, exceptional quality. We know what the Bulgari watch is. Um, this is that Bulgari snake theme that they have. You know, you've seen the hand, handbags that have the, the serpenty um, kind of theme on it. Just absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And so, um, yeah, a nice watch is something that you need. And you can find a nice watch at every price point. You know, Michael Kors has beautiful watches. Uh, you know, if you need to, you know, come down to reality. <laughs> and you know, of course, you know, we can go all the way up to Omega and the and the Rolex and, 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 the, and the things of this world like that. Um, but this Bulgari watch, I'm after it. Uh, I'm on your tracks, Bulgari. That every woman needs in her wardrobe is a beautiful silk scarf. And of course we know uh, the queen of silk scarves is Hermes. I have a couple and I want to add a few more to my collection. Um, it's something that I enjoy collecting and uh, I can imagine over the next few years that my collection is going to continue to grow. And so the one that I'm really looking at right now, and you know, some of them they make year after year for a few years, some of they, them they make for a season. And sometimes when you see one you love, you have to go ahead and get it um, because you might not see it again or you have to hunt it down on the pre-love market later. Um, so the one that I'm really loving right now, and of, again, you know you can get a silk scarf at any price point, but these are primo. And the colors that they come in, no one does color like Hermes. Just beautiful. Um, and so this is the Epaulettes de Gala Double Face Silk Scarf. I love this. I absolutely love it. It has orange, it has yellow, it has black, it has white. Um, it has these beautiful, beautiful epaulettes that are featured on the scarf with the fringe. Oh, I think that it's just absolutely gorgeous. And, you know, I'm looking at the 90 by 90 uh, and I really think the scarf makes a big statement. Uh, what I love about the Hermes scarves is that they're very versatile. You can wear them a lot of different ways. You can um, dress them up again, dress them down. You can wear them when you have on jeans. You can wear them when you have on dresses. Uh, you can wear them when you're going to work. Uh, I love to wear them uh, if I have on a suit jacket or a blazer, just tucked here nicely under the lapel of the blazer where you can see a little bit of the scarf peeking through. I love tying them. Uh, I've worn them on my head. Just all sorts of ways that you can wear these beautiful scarves. Um, and so that is my list of the 10 things that I'm looking for and the 10 things that you can have in your closet. Um, and I like my list. <laughs> Tell me what you think about my list. Tell me what is on your list. 
I would love to hear about things that I haven't considered. Um, again, um, I'll link the things that I talked about below so that you can take a closer look at them and take a look at the prices. Um, I'm gonna try to find a dupe of that watch. If you find a dupe, link it down below. If you like my list, if you don't like my list, leave a comment for the algorithm. <laughs> I appreciate each and every one of you and you know all 20 of you who watch this video <laughs> I appreciate you <laughs> and I hope that we can talk down in the comments thank you so much for watching and I'll see you the next time bye bye <laughs>